Hi there, this is Steve, and I'm extra excited about this tutorial because this is the beginning of a multi-part series of YouTube videos that are going to teach you the basics of Excel VBA. And the following videos are an excerpt from a course that I've co-instructed with Gillian Werner on Udemy. And the course is awesome. And this is designed to be an intro to the course, as well as a get started series to help you see if you want to learn VBA. So I hope you enjoy these videos. If you want to sign up for the full course, you can click on the link in the description below. And without further ado, I will let Gillian introduce herself. Hey there, and welcome to the Excel VBA course. In this course, you will learn how to effectively use Microsoft's Visual Basic for Applications, or VBA, programming language to enhance and automate your Excel spreadsheets. My name is Gillian Werner, and I'll be teaching this VBA course. I graduated from the University of Central Florida in Orlando with a degree in aerospace engineering. Upon entering the workforce, I saw an immediate need in my company for automating some of our more repetitive, tedious tasks that we did in Excel. So with my engineering background, I went out and learned Microsoft's VBA to cut our 400 plus hour process down to a 30 minute process. That's a 99.9% .9 reduction in time and thus in cost savings. Now I use my passion for engineering and for improvement processes to help teach others about VBA and how to use it effectively to get similar results in their own companies. As I mentioned before, using VBA can result in significant time and cost savings by automating your Excel work and processes. It can also significantly reduce human error found in your files, simplify long and complex Excel formulas, and it allows you to build your own custom formulas and processes to fit your specific needs. As you go through the course, I recommend you follow along in Excel. I'll give step-by-step -step instructions and note places where you can pause the video to copy down the code, and the best way to learn is by actually doing it. The nice thing about VBA is that it's very simple as far as programming languages go, so it generally doesn't take people too long to catch on. I recommend using VBA to automate or simplify tasks that you do regularly in Excel that you are already very familiar with to start off, even if they don't need to be automated or simplified. These are great practice cases since you know you already have all the information you need to be successful. I hope you're ready to jump in and start learning Visual Basic in Excel. If you have any questions as you go along, feel free to ask.